Guys, this is really nice. So this is our first time eating French food. Yes, ever. We found this place. It looks very, very nice. As you can see, we're inside. I wanted to sit outside. I think it is a house. It just transformed into a restaurant. It's nice. But like right when you enter the restaurant, it's like very cultural. Like you can just definitely tell it's different. It's very like welcoming. It's like homey too. Don't it feel like homey? Yeah. It's nice. I don't know, it's just I mean, it's just it's not, it's, no, no, it's just it's how nice. they design, I don't know. All the cocktails, ooh, that looks nice, the brunch cocktails. Thank you. They got the fresh toast, they got the sides, I can't wait to dig it. I ended up getting a French toast with a side of cheesy hash browns. Yeah. Those sound amazing. Yeah, I really don't know how much in the cloud because she said that it's like a pot pie, and when she had said that, it kind of like turned me off. I was. What is a pot pie? I don't know if I'm gonna like that or not. And if I don't like it, I'm sorry, but I'm one of those people that's gonna just have to watch it. No, it, sound, it sounded good though. What was in it? Um, had like chicken, mushrooms, onions, and some type of sauce that they have. I don't know. And then I had got a house school, one of their bistro salads, and that has like goat cheese, tomatoes, and certain stuff, so, I don't know. We about to find out in a little bit, but everything sounded good. It didn't sound crazy. I mean, I don't know, but when she has said that Popeye, like, that really just... I have a, a Popeye, the last Popeye I had was like a, a artificial one, like, it was like a shell, yeah, it looked like a pie, and they filled like with chicken and meat and stuff like that. Yeah, so this is my meal. I was not expecting it to look like this at all. This is a salad, and then this is the, I'm going to get the name for y'all, but this is like the Popeye looking thing. This thing is cheesy hash brown. Mmm, you guys, this, oh my God, that looks that amazing. Looks so good. I don't eat, I don't, I'm not going to eat all the strawberries, but I'm going to eat it. This looks amazing. <laughs> Yeah, so it's not really nowhere to put the camera so I'm not gonna be able to see our full faces. <laughs> but we're about to start digging in, so we're gonna see how this tastes. Mm. You already tasted that. I know, and they said they don't have no ketchup uh, for my cheesy uh, hash browns. They said they ran out. Um, how does it taste? Everything is cooked on point. This is really good. She's not lying though. It's like, I, I just feel comfortable. Like, it's just a nice brunch. I need to try my. We barely we don't go out for brunch, y'all. Like, we really don't. Mm -hmm. Let me try this French toast. This is actually good. Mm, guys, look, I'm about to dip it in my syrup. Y'all, so this right here. I don't know if y'all can see, I'm gonna try to bring it up to the camera. So I just like poked a little hole in it and got a taste of like the puff pastry. And it's actually nothing like I thought it was gonna be. So this is definitely very different. It's like kind of like a chicken and dumpling type of thing. Like with the sauce and everything. Chicken is really good too. And I don't really taste too much of like the onions or the mushrooms. Ooh, that looks crazy though. This time. What is it? Chicken? I don't know. Okay, take that piece off. Um, yeah. Mm. Oh my gosh. Got this all over the place. Yeah, it's huge. Oh, it's like chicken and. Here. Ooh. It's different. That is amazing. Yeah, this is really different. Mm. That's some good stuff. I can't even tell you guys yeah, the last I don't know time. What this is. The last time I had French toast like this. Mm. Mm. This is super good. This is good. It tastes like good. Yeah. You better, you better finish that whole thing. That is really good. It's good. It's really good. It's, it's like sweet. it's like savory, definitely savory. 
and like the puff pastry just gives it like a different type of texture like a crispy type thing and whatever those like these right here it reminds me that's a chicken it reminds me of like chicken and dumplings but like a french version on top of like a puff pastry instead of like a biscuit like an actual puff pastry yeah let me try your cheesy hash browns Mmm. Mm -hmm. Those are major cheese meat. Yes, thank you. You can just put it right here. Thank, thank you. you so much. Uh -huh. There's the bread. Yes, there's the bread. Ooh. It's focusing on the bread. <laughs> yeah, so this is the bread he just dropped off. Whew. This is some filling stuff. All right, so let's taste the bread. I'm excited to taste the bread. And Dan, can you save me a piece of the French toast? This is so good, man. Yeah, y'all gotta see him smacking. There. <laughs> All right, let's taste the bread. Oh my, yes, y'all, and it's hot. Oh my, yes. This is very hot, y'all. Yes, look at how good this looks. Oh my gosh. And they have oil and mm. butter. <laughs> Taste it with the oil. Not gonna be eating all the butter. Mm. The bread itself is just amazing. Mm. Really good. I don't know if I'm wrong or not, but. I know like a lot of places overseas, like a lot of different countries overseas, they actually make their food like very healthy wise. Rather than us here in America, we like put so much sugar, so much salt, so much of like everything like in our portions are, are enormous. So I could definitely, you know, if everything here is 100% homemade, which I believe it is, I feel like they're just, you know, cooking how they normally cook in their country. Because the whipped cream on his French toast tasted like no sugar at all. Like it was just 100%. Yeah, the whipped natural. cream, yeah. It was like, it just tastes like. And the butter, nothing. this tastes like no added anything. Like this is just pure 100% butter. I like it though. This is a piece of bread with stuff on it. I don't know what's on here. Olives. What is that? Yeah, all crushed olives are on here. Mmm. Good. You, I mean, you like that stuff. I don't. This is good. I never eat that. Like, this is very salty, though. What is that? Crushed olives on a piece of toast? With something else. Yeah, that's not me. Mm. That was some good food, guys. Oh, it's like a little food. What? Mm -hmm. oh, it's like a little shot. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Look at these. So what are these? What is this? These are all made. These are all made locally. It's not focusing for y'all, but it's like homemade jam and preservative. Homemade maple bacon jam. Yeah, that was crazy. It has a whole typewriter. Look at that. Oh, but that food was really good. What you think about it? It was good. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm stuffed. <laughs> I'm stuffed and I'm tired. Like not, uh... You said that would be authentic French food? Well, what you I had. I definitely think it is, and you too. I mean, French toast. I had French toast before, but. But he ain't had no French toast like that. I like the vibe of it. I really wanted to go on that outside part. They had like a whole deck. It was like on the third floor. You just look down. But 
Yeah. It was way too skinny. It was just I was not feeling about it. There was it. a and lot it's of chilly outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was a lot of people out there too. But also another thing we wanted to tell y'all, the kids are gone. They'll be gone for like what a week. Yeah, most likely a week. They went to their grandmother's, aka my mom's house. We just needed a little break. Not that you know. Oh, here, can you take the kids? She just wanted to also no, see the kids too. Yeah. So. It always feels weird, like without them, because like they're always right there with us. Yes. Uh, we have a lot, a lot of work to get done within this week, so that's we all do. I know. <laughs> we do, yo. We all right, guys, we're in Home Depot right now. Carly wanted to get stop here so we can get some nails to hang up what our poster boards or whatever. All right, Listen, y'all. So if y'all have me on Facebook, y'all might have seen a couple of sites that I've been posting. But, um, you know, we're really uh, digging into ourselves more mentally. So, it's going to be a lot of shifting that we're going to be doing right now. Shifting energy and everything like that. Y'all know I'm very high into that. I bought these big, um, oh, what's it called? I bought the big. <laughs> you definitely just smacked that. I bought the big, uh, like, dry erase board. So, we're going to start using that for more organization for us. For, like, everything that we need to do and, like, scheduling and stuff. So... That's what we're in the process of doing, so we're about to hang those up. Uh, we can show y'all, we want to show them at the house how we do that. Yeah, and like so, we said, the kids are gone, yeah. so we try to get as much done. We just got a lot of organization to get done. We have house. a lot to like get our minds more clear on everything, if that makes sense. You know, just, just so we have some time to ourselves to think. Well, we need a nail. Over right here. You, I didn't say this, it's over. Ah. What she yelling for? That is not what she <laughs> says. <laughs> Ew. Yes, on, she man. did. She said, chill out. What she yelling for? Oh, yeah, I think Lay she just said that. All the shit. <laughs> like, all right, come on, man. Get your nails. Then maybe we should get this one. Yeah, that's a bigger. Yeah. All right. All right. All right, y'all. So we got the nails. We're a little I bit believe slow. That's so. only what we need. Is that the only thing we need? Are those kind of big though? Let me see. Those are husky. Yeah, that's what we need. Oh. Oh, those are husky poster boards. Husky nails. All right, let's go. Look. For me and you? Uh, it's nice. That's too small for us. But no, nah, that was nice. That, that's, that's crazy. Oh, I like this one. Mm. Yeah. Or, or this one. Yeah, that is nice too. This one or this one? This is too. Uh, I definitely want jets in my tub though. Would be nice. The ceramic glass ones. These are really nice. Like you can just easily get it messy. You can just do a quick wipe. I love these. Put some music on here. Yes, this is that's crazy. It's like, music. I really wonder like what 2030 is gonna look like. like they already putting TVs in fridges. Yeah, that's crazy. This is nice. Yeah, it's huge too. See, but I don't, I don't like this. This reminds me of your mom's room. Yeah, the lights. Which one is that? Those are fire. Yeah, those are real nice. Those are dope. Hang it down from the living room. Ooh, what about the circle ones right here, too? These are nice, too. Ooh. Those are really nice. Those are different. I like them a lot. Look at that. It's like a, what is that? Do you like that chandelier? You like chandelier? You like chandeliers or like what do you like? Yeah, that makes sense too. Yeah, but it has to be a certain type. Guys, so we're on our way home. And let me tell you about this man right there. I'm just gonna focus, but that man, I don't know how long he's been homeless, but like that cart is huge. I would definitely help him out if I had, you know, extra cash or whatever. At least get him something like uh, like a storage unit or something, please. Mm -hmm. But like I see that oh man God, everywhere. Yeah, he has a dog too. Oh, yeah, I don't know if it's I two see. people. Yeah, I see him all the time, just walking with all their stuff. Like, do you know? How, you know how heavy that wagon has to be. Like. No, that's what they said. Oh my God. Yeah, that's it. I'm trying to show you how better. Just always be grateful for what you have. You know, if you have a car, like if you if you have transportation, if you 
live under a roof with uh, warm water you can take a bath shower like just be thankful for whatever you have because people really don't have anything in this world it's just crazy so just be just be thankful man don't you know don't always be like oh i wish i had this I wish i did this oh i wish i had that too just just be thankful for what you have man all right guys we just got home today was just a basic <laughs> Yo, we gotta get stuff done. Today we're dedicating this day to get the things that we haven't been uh, able to get done with the kids because we've just been so busy, yo. And no, just our minds are all over the place. It's just we just have to refocus and, and re wake back up and just get more organized a little bit. <laughs> all right, so one of the things that we have to get done is this. You're about to see. So we have a huge, <laughs> look at this guy. This isn't just a small amount of clothes. Like, look at my hand, yo. You can start pulling clothes out from in the middle. Like, this is just a lot. So everything is clean. And what we've have been doing, since we haven't been getting to it, we would wash what it. What you been doing? We would wash it, we would dry it, and then we would just, just <laughs> leave it in, <laughs> we would leave it in our hamper, man. We about to go on time lapse to see how fast we can knock this out. Like I said, it's not a little bit of clothes, it's a lot of bit of clothes. Let's go. <laughs> We just got done. So happy we just got that done, y'all. Y'all, I'm exhausted. Peace out. We'll see y'all next video.